Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Guys, we're checking out and heading out of New Delhi, India already. So we're actually going on to the next destination. Destination, sorry. It's early morning. It's like 6 a.m. to Doha. Good morning. Uh, this Good morning. Is Uber. Uber? Yeah, Logan. Yeah. Thank you. So we're going to Doha, uh, so we're going to take the Uber all the way to the airport and then the airport I think it's a three hour flight for us to Doha in Qatar and then we have a transit chill day there. The airport is chicken in this class and not have to wait in that ridiculous line. Here we go, another lap. Here part is skipping the line. Hey, <laughs> I'm going over here. Completely the face. Bye, sucker. You want to be checking? Yeah, it's quite nice having our own private boarding hall. Right, so that's where the uh, yeah bridge. <laughs> it's where all the other people have to board. Um, so big 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 mistake instead of getting the tour free tour guide that's by Qatar uh, Airways since we're flying with them um, We walked out of immigration out into the exit and then we thought the desk was outside in the airport So of course logically it wouldn't be it's inside the airport so we can't do that free tour but from the sounds of it, this may be better off because now we have actual time for ourselves and we can wander around by ourselves instead of being a group of 33 people. And also we're just gonna just take the Uber to the city center and explore from there. Qatar is a melting pot for locals and foreigners and Doha is a city with an awe-inspiring skyline with a whole of culture spread across the city. Doha, you are 40 degrees of dry heat, which is really fucking hot. But we are excited to check out the Museum of Islamic Art. And already the building outside architecturally looks beautiful. The Museum of Islamic Art has been a fascination to me ever since it was built because of my obsession with architecture. Rising from its purpose-built island, it's shaped like a postmodern fortress with minimal windows to reduce energy use and a virtual moat. It has that sandy color of Doha with a natural stone color blending into the city but standing out of the blue in the Arabian Gulf. I tried walking, we lasted about 3 minutes before we got a taxi. This is so damn hot. <laughs> but I'm really glad to be sitting in air conditioning right now in Qatar. And it's only about 2 euros to the next location. You may be wondering, why isn't there anybody or any souls at all in Qatar? The Souk wave makes Qatar look like a ghost town. Well, I guess midday in the middle of the desert does that. This labyrinth bazaar, whose name translates to Standing Market, is the Qatari capital's oldest souk, 
Its covered and passageways are stuffed with dozens of tiny stores showcasing their wares piled high along the market's mud coat stand walls. Through the narrow lanes, there's everything from garments to spices, perfumes to diamonds, scented oils to falcons. With that, we snuck into a restaurant called Al Ahamiya Iraqi Restaurant. While Doha has a plethora of international food spots, ranging from anything you can ever think of, Yurun and I wanted to dig into what we heard was the best lamb chops in the Gulf. So, with a generous portion of birani rice, the fresh pita flatbread coming out piping hot. Oh, and the complimentary tea was a nice way to finish lunch too. What I appreciate from just scratching the surface of Doha while on this layover is so much of the city is invested in culture. While Qatar and its capital is a hub for business in the Middle East, there's so many neighborhoods throughout the city that is enriching and innovative, contemporary, just as authentic for a city that will continue to keep on growing throughout the contrast and timelessness. Doha has been the perfect city for a layover. We've both never been in the Middle East before, and Doha is one shimmering gem in the desert. Case in point, at night, the city shines like a jewel lit from a candlelight amongst the many skyscrapers. We're back in Doha Airport once again. Our layover came to an end, and we're back full circle where we touched down. Yoon and I are flying out tonight to Saigon, Vietnam, the country I was born in before growing up in Canada. We're in the business class lounge at Doha Airport, and we're gonna grab one of those showers so we can just clean ourselves up in the lounge before our next connecting flight. This is the gorgeous shower suites at Doha's business class uh, airport lounge. So you can see the, the toilet here. Very beautiful design. Then in here are the showers. And now without further ado, I'm gonna go get freshened up. Feeling so refreshed and cleaned up, even shaved. Now we're gonna grab some food just to fill up our stomach before our next flight. Now it's time to board a flight to Saigon. Here we go. In the next vlog, Yuri and I touched down back in Asia, our first time ever in Vietnam together. A whole new adventure starts. Hit subscribe because you wouldn't want to miss out on the new Vietnam series. Give this video a like and leave a comment below.